This is Ivan Ivanov, and you are watching UFO Disclosure Bulgaria. We have the documents. We have the witnesses. True stories about UFOs, visitors from outer space, and other worlds. Happy to have you in uh, UFO Disclosure Bulgaria. You mentioned that you had a lot of experience for many years with uh, paranormal and maybe multi-dimensional activities. Yes. How start? How long ago that start with you? Oh, it started at eight years old, um, and I had always seen what seemed to be uh, spirits, which I. You know, as you get older, I uh, know they are they were spirits, and then uh, it was I was presented something that uh, appeared, and uh, they knew that it spooked me, and then they went away. Mm -hmm. What happened when you was eight years old? What happened as far as the the two that showed up or it? What happened when you was eight years old? You said that. It, Everything happened then when you was eight years old. So I, what happened exactly? I uh, at at around eight years old was uh, seeing the apparitions, which uh, were like spirits, and and nobody, uh, none of the spirits were talking to me or anything. I just saw them. Um, mm -hmm. Didn't spook me too much. In fact. Spirits like uh, dead people, or it's seemingly yes. Uh, appar they were apparitions, sometimes fuzzy, uh, uh, sometimes clear, sometimes mm -hmm. recognized, sometimes not. And during the years, and and during the through the eight years, I became comfortable with that. Okay. Um, it, it didn't spook me. So, and I uh, saw my grandmother that had died and passed you when I was eight. Right yes. Thank yes. You. You're welcome. <laughs> Uh, so my grandmother passed when I was eight, oh, and okay. and and she presented herself to me. I saw her very clear. It was her, no mistakes, you know. And and it brought comfort um, mm -hmm. because a very, I had a very close relationship. Mm -hmm. So do you have uh, members of your family who had some sensitivities like you? It, it's taken many years to actually present something that they caught on to and I caught on to them there's a few yes okay and during the years what happened you start except all this uh, instead all this uh, spirits or ghosts you saw what, what else uh, well, th through uh, eight years old and then on, like I said, a a in eight years old, something else presented that was more solid. Okay. And and it spooked me at eight years old. And, uh, you know, I remember telling my mom I was upset, and uh -huh. that's the when the, the you realize people don't understand it, and, and because it was an imaginary friend, or it was yeah, a dream, or yeah. it was... And so, uh, you accept that, and yeah. move along, and so... It was. You've done many pictures. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what can, what can, ex how you can describe these uh, experiences, the pictures you uh, taken? Them? In in total, that yeah, because I have the thousands and thousands of pictures. I have videos mm -hmm. of craft, uh, seemingly craft. Sometimes you make the mistake; it's not quite a craft. It is them mm -hmm. in a bio wrap shell. It's what it is. They explain a plasma, and there's coming down to me. Um, sometimes I ask and they come and other times... So you telepathically contacted? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, did they teach you of something? Through my life they taught me of many things. They've given me knowledge of... of uh, Can you give an example? Uh, they gave me knowledge of uh, stuff in the in the uh, solar system, they gave me knowledge of Mars. Okay. And they gave me knowledge of um, happenings that other people call uh, 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 conspiracy theories, which I know this is not a conspiracy. Mm -hmm. And they gave me knowledge of that. And they gave me knowledge of stuff that they said I can never repeat. Mm -hmm. Don't make sense to me, but they did. Okay, and that craft you said, 
you sell and uh, took pictures and they, you say that they're solid, that means solid like material solid or what do you it, mean? It is a, a learning experience that I learned because I had craft that I thought was craft I got pictures of I, and, and I was more of a picture guy than video guy and okay. everybody wants videos which I do have some but with uh, uh, equipment that wasn't. <laughs> How big is that craft? Different? There's where it gets tricky because uh, the the one of the video I got where I'm telepathy. I asked them. I have some questions. You know, uh -huh. can you can you appear and you know? And I start video in one spot, and the one shows up, two shows up, and then they start coming down to me, and they are little dots in the clouds, white, and then they are coming, coming, coming down, coming down. By the time they get to me, they are the same size. Okay. As the little ones, they don't. You would think from the clouds to here so they're you, bigger. You saw it from long distance. Yeah. Probably yeah. 20 miles. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sky. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Clouds. I know. I'm not sure how high the clouds were that day. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Up in the clouds is high. You know. Yeah. So and then. Uh, yeah. But uh, dots. By the time they get to me, are the same size. Mm -hmm. But they never been closer to you. Well, see, uh, I know of many different races and I've had contact with many different races. So that was one experience uh, with a race that uh, did not present as a solid, but as that dot that is a, what I consider a bio wrap. Um, yeah, I understand. Yeah. And Yes. So most of the time you talk with them telepathically? Yes. Most of the time, yes. Yeah. In you, uh, in your mind, you say, "I would like to to meet you. Can you come down?" Yeah. If if, if it's an uh, 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 entity or a being that I know that that I've met before, yes, I, I got some questions. You know, can we? Yeah. Recently, in the last year, year and a half. I was uh, out in the backyard on my patio. Sometimes the sun goes down until the sun comes up. I making contact or seeing the craft going across the sky and <laughs> many, many different experiences. But um, they, they a year and a half ago, I felt the presence and I did not know this presence. And and but they were uh, good. Um, benevolent, uh, and I had said that I don't recognize you. I don't think we've ever met, and oh, okay. uh, you know, telepathy-wise. Yeah. And I got telepathy back if it was okay that they uh, look and get to you know study me and know me, and and I s lay down my rules as always. And how, how you learn to do telepathy? It, it was it natural. Soul? Yeah, Actually, yeah. You know. I, you know, like I said, I think I was very good at it at eight years old, but I didn't know what. Okay. I didn't know I was projecting, or maybe I wasn't. I don't know. Okay. Maybe they saw that spirit contact, my grandmother contact, and then they said, you know. It's, when you're contacting telepathically, uh, do you hear the voice in your head, or it's like a pictures? Yeah, mind, it's not a voice. It's it's pictures, it. vibration, sound. And uh, sometimes it's very long what they're telling me as uh, uh, information or or knowledge. Mm -hmm. and so I have to be very careful of what I say because I can make a mistake of not presenting it correctly. So I okay. I uh, will write it down if I know it's going to be long. Um, they present it this this you know as so, and I shorthand it, writing it down, and then uh, you know when it's done. Uh, write it out full and how frequently you have this contact uh, it, it's different um yeah it's uh recently the year and a half is every day yeah. every day and all i have to do is ask when uh, something happens and i get sad or uh, they feel everything i feel they let me know that and vice versa and i can tell you the stories there too they're kind of funny really uh, they're comical, we have fun, but all I have to, you know, if I get sad, then I, they'll, I feel them touch me on the shoulder and, you know, touch me on the head. If I'm getting sad, if it's something I'm reading you on the... You feel that touching. Oh, yeah. It's 
plain as day. Yeah. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's, it feels like six of them. How many races contact with you? Well, that's tricky because, I mean, I haven't kept a tally, but they've let me know about races too. And it's like 300 and something races, but that's mixed between what I met and what they've given me knowledge of. Okay. Um, so they told you that they had 300 races. Yeah, and that's not a total. I think it's a, a little bit at a time. You know, I'll bet, uh, I'm willing to well, bet there's way more, more than that. Yeah. Oh, I think more. Okay. Uh, and where, did, where from they come in? Uh, again, tricky. I, they give me knowledge sometimes as truth. And then three years down the road, all of a sudden there's another truth that goes with that truth so it stacks on so where are they coming I I can say they are coming from um, different dimensions some of them and some of them are coming from our dimensions uh, out in uh, closer but you know we're talking closer in our uh, galaxy uh, that is 30 million light years away it's okay. it's a distance but that yeah there are some coming from, from but they the, never they never tell you exactly the destination they come from. They do. I I uh, I don't just want to spit it out. It's um, there's there's certain races that come from like a group of stars and uh -huh. and others that uh, are from uh, you know Orion's Belt for one is a group of beings that uh, you know from different stars but different planets because it's it's the group of uh, Orion's belt mm -hmm. is the way I understood it yeah. um, uh, the Zetas um, are another that represent themselves from uh, from the Zeta uh, I believe this is a Zeta star system mm -hmm. and that and there's there's a few others I just the, the names aren't coming okay. Um, okay. especially lately it's cloudy for whatever reason <laughs> yeah. um, you you say that you you play guitar right yes and uh, you had a story about this one time i i did tell you that story can yes you, can you share that story uh yeah and that's um i, I played guitar for a long time um professionally or uh, for fun well that depends okay. on the, you what you explain it professionally did I go on the road no did I play in the bands band? local yeah oh, okay. and and so you know I played since uh, my uh, late teens uh, early 20s uh, till now um, so, took a gap yes, but yeah. so just to explain you know I'm not bad at guitar but it, but I'm not excellent either yeah. um, I think they wanted me to be excellent and uh, they seemingly like music whether it's on the computer or the live on the guitar mm -hmm. and they did help me um, how to play better and at first I noticed how they liked the music and uh, and they uh, they would uh, uh, touch me while I was playing um, and then it became to where uh, there's certain songs I, I play you know I practice I'm like always writing new and they uh, on certain songs they would I, my guitar while I was playing it would tug and I'd be like what are you doing you know and and uh, then uh, then they would like I, I wouldn't say make it swing out but they, they would kind of push it out and it's like okay so uh, I, I kind of, uh, within a couple days of that, had uh -huh. had said out loud, or telepathy both, um, that, why don't you like these songs? Why do you interrupt me when I'm playing these songs? And and then you let me play the others, and I actually saw the apparitions, uh, energies, dancing around the rooms on the songs I liked, and then the other ones, they were talking on guitar, and I was like, if you don't let me play my songs that I like too, I'm not going to play any of them. And, it was at that moment that they let me know and it it's really hard to say it was telepathy it, it, because these are different it, it was a almost a, the knowledge was there that move your guitar back is why we were tugging your guitar mm -hmm. swinging it out you can pick at it better um, and then th they started this other thing and they wanted me to lower it like two inches and once I started to catch on as I, I felt bad for saying I'm not going to play it, <laughs> you know, I thought they were being irritating, and they weren't. Yeah. They were teaching. Mm -hmm. 
once I caught on to that and did these things, I noticed I played better, um, more sharp, more uh, uh, subtle to a musician is a lot, um, as opposed to somebody listening from the outside in probably wouldn't notice too much. But mm -hmm. I make these adjustments and I play 10 times better. Are you a composer also as well? Or? A composer as far as... Like creating your own music? Yeah, I, I write my own song. In fact, I don't right? like playing the mainstream songs, which I, there's a few I can, mm -hmm. but I never put my mind to that. It was always writing my own. And lyrics, That's guitar... Cool. Yeah. And Do you have uh, videos or something with your uh, music? The only, no, the only videos I have is me when I think of something and I jump up and start playing it so I don't forget and then, and then I have that video so it's very undone, it's very choppy, it's, it's okay. you know, yeah. so yeah, I do have them but of me playing on stage with a full song, no. Okay, we left uh, five minutes, yeah. <laughs> it's, time is going very quickly. You can edit. I, uh, my answers are too long, huh? No, no, you're okay. okay. You're okay. Well, I mean, share yeah. whatever you want with uh, the public. What, what I, you would I, like to I, share to people who maybe have similar experiences like yours? For me, is I know the difference, I feel the difference between benevolent and man malevolent. There's not a whole lot of malevolent around, no. um, especially now. I think it's almost been shooed away. We are changing in vibration and they are changing us and I know that uh, in vibration to a higher vibration which will not allow any malevolent and they can't stand it. Mm -hmm. um, this knowledge they gave me. In a year and a half I met the ones at first and became very close friends, taught me that the guitar played around the room uh, even in the vehicle going down the highway was the apparitions and they plain as day playing around mm -hmm. fun and yeah. that's what they represent. They went away and I thought, what did I do? What, what did I do? Did I make you mad? You know, and what it ended up is there was another group that wanted to learn. And when I caught that, same thing. I says, come close. Mm -hmm. And Have you had the out of world experiences? Out of world experiences, astro travel, yes. Um, yeah. How is it? It's uh, amazing. You but, to a common person, if all of a sudden they were able to do it, what they would see would would spook them and scare them and not realize that it is kindness, it is love, it is... But you're calm when that happens. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I seem to be a natural at that. Mm -hmm. I seem to be a natural at remote viewing. I trust myself to do it alone in a group, but I won't share that because you, you know, in the group, yeah. you understand that. So. Um, have you, have you met another travelers? Travelers, humans out there, or yeah, you're saying like, uh, when, you're at, uh, when I'm out and about? No, no. Just you? And just, just me. And um, when it's out, that's a good question. Now I'm thinking to maybe look around more. <laughs> maybe there's more of <laughs> me out there. Yeah, no. maybe it's another travelers like um, you. There's uh, a one experience doing that, and I am coming back after traveling I understand some people can get, get lost and I don't seemingly get lost but um, I sometimes went far sometimes not mm -hmm. um, one time coming back my body I can see coming in mm -hmm. is talking uh, and is not English is not any other language that is recognizable as uh, speaking in tongue it's hard to back to your body yeah. or it's easy Oh. When you leave your body, it's easy, and when you're back, it's easy, or... It's for, for me, you, you learn, of course, not to rush into your body, because it's like... Uh, uh, and I don't even know if other people experience this, but if I rush, it, my whole body jerks, and then I, 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 energy is tired. It's, if I do it lightly and come in, you're still l used a lot of energy, mm -hmm. but it doesn't you don't feel bogged down than if you crash into you. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that experience for myself, but I don't know if it works that way for others. Mm -hmm. I got funny stories at the dentist chair. What did you do? For the most part, my travels are controlled, very controlled. And, you know, when I'm out, I go, when I want to come back, I come back. 
Yeah, the dentist was uh, the uh, shots, the Novocaine. Uh, it does not affect me fully, so it hurts when they <laughs> drill or pull teeth, and you can imagine that pain, right? So I go into a meditative state, but I can only go so far in the meditative state there, so I am alert to what they're doing, but it helps with all of that. And one experience, I went a little too far in, in and I looked down and my body's down there in the tennis chair and I like, oh, and it, I jumped back in and my whole body jumped. And they're like, at the dentist pulled back, the, the assistant pulled back and, and they, did we, well, he said, did, did we hurt you? What's going on? Did we hurt you? And I'm like, and I was kind of confused for a minute. I was like, no, 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 you keep going. Yeah. It's, it's good. You, you're not feel any pain. Uh, I, if I went when back. further, when, back. when I, when I'm back, I, I, do I feel pain? Was mm -hmm. that the question? Yeah, because like from the dentist. Yeah. Um. Well, I I don't leave at the dentist. That was an accident. I went a little too deep and apparently thought it was okay to leave or so. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, so, when I'm there in my meditative, I do feel just a little bit of pain. That's why I meditate though, because if I don't, mm -hmm. I'm not numb enough to actually let them do that. Mm -hmm. It is it, a lot of pain. So. Yeah. Now, when I left, there's no pain. No, you're out. Okay, there's uh, one minute left. Okay. What you would like to tell to the world? Watch the skies to look up um, and uh, set your rules. You say it out loud, they will hear you. Um, say it in your head, they will hear you. Mm -hmm. um, your rules are what your rules are for them to make contact and vice versa and to make contact because it's benevolent it is love it is they they will show you stuff if you make that connection in a deep deep loving to mind way um, they will teach you things that are amazing to help you and us as a human race to move forward mm -hmm. so uh, distance doesn't matter distance as not seemingly for them um, I don't know about distance yet. Um, I know some, but it's not enough to talk about because I don't know for a fact. It, it, for them, distance seemingly is, it's not like they make a ship and actually travel 30 million light years. It, they jump in some way or another, be it gates or folding space or, yeah. Thank you very much um, to have you in UFO Disclosure Bulgaria. You're welcome. And it was a pleasure for us. <laughs> ah, it's a pleasure for me too. Yeah. It's, uh...